that's it. In total, I went on six interviews. Flew all around the country, some, some places for the first time ever in my life. There still is an underlying substantial amount of unease there because not sure where um, I'll end up, if anywhere, but have done everything that I can to this point, and now it's just a waiting game. I feel blessed that I, I, I'm able to travel to all these places. It wasn't cheap, and I definitely don't take that for granted. Countdown to January 22nd begins. It's December 26th, the rank list is due January 12th, and I've been thinking about it a lot, but I think I have my ranking. My sixth overall pick is going to be Minnesota. Lucky enough, I liked every single program that I went to. Um, I'd be totally down to go to Minnesota. I think I'd gain a good clinical experience there. And there's supportive faculty and people genuinely seem happy there, but locations is one of the big factors I'm considering here. Minnesota, although I think it is an absolutely charming town and I'd be able to put my head down and grind there, I cannot say that it is my first choice. And I know these are out of order, like it goes like one, two, three, four, but I'm, I'm doing it like six, four, three, two. Just ignore that, I'm, I'm doing this for, for suspense. Number five, Houston. If not working for in California, I'd want to work in Oregon, Nevada, Texas. I really liked Houston. It was really diverse. I love the downtown area. It's actually the fourth largest city in America, which I did not know. And fun fact, it actually has the biggest medical facility in the world. Another reason why I'm ranking it five is it's barely paid. I think you're gonna be up around 10, 15K after the two years. And you don't see that many patients there. All right, in the fourth spot is... Woodhull. That's the cliche, right? That's the dream. New York City in your 20s. There's no other place and no other time, better time to go to New York when there is just unlimited amounts of people to meet, things to do, and the, the hustle and bustle energy. I visited New York a few times. I absolutely love it there. It's also paid pretty highly, around like $70,000 a year. And a lot of times in New York hospitals, the residents are gonna be worked very hard, but this one has a little bit more work-life balance. In my third spot, I have NYU Langone, Tampa. I have nothing but great things to say about it. I think the clinical program is top-notch, cream of the crop. The amount of clinical experience that you get, you're seeing around 20 patients every single day. So many assistants. You go in there as a doctor, you're not going to be uh, cleaning up rooms, you're not gonna be taking x-rays or doing cleanings. Of course, it's extremely important to learn how to do those things, but I like how it focuses on the procedures. Yeah, solid number three spot. Taking the number two spot. NYU Langone San Diego Padre. So absolutely beautiful facility, beautiful location. The program is more on the intense side. Uh, I remember talking to all the residents and every single resident said that there were some struggles at the beginning, but it's residency, you know? Struggle now and then it will be easier later. Another great thing about the NYU sites is, you know, you're an employee and NYU is your employer. So you get health benefits, the paid time off and um, a salary and whatnot. And finally, the number one spot, University of Southern North Carolina, California. USC was one of the programs that I externed at and I absolutely fell in love with the program then. I think it has a really great balance. All right, we just switched to my uh, my onboard mic because this one died. I think USC on this list of programs is a program that teaches you the most outside of what is in like the AAPD official like curriculum to get accredited. They have really great clinicals. They see a good amount of patients a day. They are at three different children's hospitals, even more different sites. So the amount of different professors, faculty, um, information that is thrown at you will be different from place to place and from person to person. I think that diversity allows you to kind of formulate your own ideas and give you more tools that in your toolbox that you can pull from as like your own provider. They have a lot of didactic work, so studying continues, 
which I think is great because, you know, I want to become a board certified pediatric dentist anyways. The more knowledge I have, the more I'll be able to be confident in, in treating my, my future kiddos. Let's submit for certification. Where do you want me to go? Where do you, where do you want me to go to, to residency? Out of, based off of what you know, where do, where do you want me to go? U. S. C. Okay. Okay, where do you want me to go? What do you mean want you to go? I want you, do you to go want to, to wherever go? you want to go. Actually though. I want you to go wherever you want to go. What's the non-PC answer politically correct? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. I have two. What are they? I'm gonna say USC and NYU Langone in San Diego. That's what I thought. Yeah, those are also your top two. This is the heart-wrenching moment where I opened my email to read that I did not match. No matter how many times I read it again and again, the words did not change. I was not prepared for this. The emotions I felt were complex, unparalleled by anything I have felt before. I felt confused, frustrated, sad, embarrassed, stressed, and betrayed, creating a tapestry of despair. For hours afterward, I battled waves of nausea and the urge to throw up. It was not fun. What made it worse was the natural positivity I innately had. While my friends were wise in protecting themselves, saying things like, I'm not sure if I'll match, or I'd be happy anywhere. My approach, rooted in what I believed was a realistic assessment of my interview skills and the encouraging feedback I got from USC and others, had led me down a hopeful path. In my mind, I was convinced that even if USC didn't work out, another one of my top choices surely would. In this case, my optimism backfired spectacularly and I contributed to how much I hurt in this moment. Thoughts creeped into my head. Was I delusional in assessing my interview skills? Is it because of my international status? But I did not have too much time to dwell because there was still work to be done. I dug deep and got ready for a post-match at 9am. My housemates helped compile emails and numbers of the list of programs with open spots. I found solace in seeking guidance from mentors. Despite the hecticness of it all, there was an unexpected silver lining. I felt so supported. With the strength of my support system, I was able to receive multiple interview invites and found my new dream school. <laughs> I'm so confused. Hmm. Hey man, how's the how's the match matched life? Oh, it's good, but I need you to match, bro. That's, I need, I need, we gotta get you in. Dude, I don't think I'm gonna join the match life. Wait, why not? But the post match life is pretty good too, you know. Yeah, there's, oh, there's options. There's options for post match. No, I got I got Tufts. You got it. I got it. Let's go. <laughs> Hey brah, yeah, you forget this smile? Looks nice, doesn't it? That's right. <laughs> I got it, I got Tufts. Yeah. Let's go! Dude, what a combat. Life, what is, a fucking life is a movie, bro. You got in? Yeah. <laughs> Tufts or be you? Tufts. Nice! No! Hey man. I got one. I got Tufts. I'm so proud of you. Yay! <laughs> yeah! Yo, let's go. Yo, why let's is it zooming in on, on your face? That's so cool. How do you do that on FaceTime? No, no, no. You gotta tell me what's up, man. Oh, sorry. I'm probably matched. <laughs> Where? I'm going to Tufts, baby. I've matched. Hey, let's go. Where? Dude, I'm going to Tufts. 
Boston, baby. Brada. What's up? What's going on? You FaceTime me? I'm gonna be like you, man. I'm gonna be a pediatric dentist. That's awesome. That's a, that's everybody and their mother knows Tufts. Wait. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to go. Yeah, well, post-match. To Tufts. Which one? Tufts. Good. I'm right. <laughs> okay. Hey. Sorry, shut up. Shut up. Well, post-match to Tufts. Huh? I post-match to Tufts. What? Yeah. I'm going yeah. to Boston. Yes, yeah. Saya, so, yeah, I post match the Tufts. Wow, Tufts? Yeah. Right. Very good. Okay, well, let's see if we can tell you how to use the drop of the next step. <laughs> you know, things work out, and you know, things happen for reasons. Yeah. Happy for you. No, yeah. absolutely, absolutely.